Hi friends, here we are just outside Lexington. Uh, we've been to Ten Pines Bluff. Uh, we've done um, USAF Satellite Station. Am I going to have to say that whole thing out every time I mention it? Um, we've done Olivia. Uh, we've been to Ten Pines Bluff and we now have the mission to kill all of the raiders in Corvega. Uh, Corvega was a car manufacturing company before the war so this is a big factory floor in making cars. Now this I believe is one of the biggest locations in the game, uh, in the wasteland. Uh, so this is going to be another multi-parter. I've got a timer going uh, and I'm going to catch it and um, break it up into several sections. The first section is going to be the outside because I want to clear that before heading in. Now you'll notice I have upgraded um, pipe pistol to a pipe rifle. It's much better. Still not great, but it's but it's better. Still don't have a lot of armor. I am getting better at eyeballing those those shots. Good sounding explosion. Hey, and yes, there. I've set the bus on fire. So I'll just wait for that to explode and take those guys out the with it. Will make you jittery. Guess they were right. There we go. That's very satisfying. Speaking of satisfying, I've always found. Um, automatic weapons in this game to be very satisfying to use. If you recall, but in one of my very early um, uh, videos, I talked about uh, different methods of um, clearing a location. Uh, it was uh, the, uh, uh, the clothes shop one, whatever that's called. Um, and at that time, I mentioned that there were two methods, and then I talked about only one of them, uh, and that was the shoot and loot method. Uh, that's where you clean out the entire dungeon before going back and systematically looting the entire location. Uh, this one, the location is far too big for that, so I'm going to loot as a go. Uh, which is what I call the second of the two methods. Uh, this does mean that occasionally I do have people shooting at me as I loot. This particular location in particular this particular location in particular. Um, this location, there's a lot of space, uh, a lot of people um, over across at the other building are using things like shotguns and pipe pistols, uh, which aren't very accurate at this range, like at all. So I think I'm going to be good. Uh, Corvega has a lot of chems. Uh, I've got some daddy over there. But it also has a lot of decent loot. And you'll notice, yes, I'm, um, I'm using tags now. Which I should have been doing from the beginning. But you definitely want to clear the outside uh, of Corvega before heading in. Because, for a start, uh, it means that less people are shooting you as you're going in. This is bullshit. And there will be less people fewer people shooting you as you're coming out. Now, and down below. Let's go get let's go clear this level first. Because we still want to be systematic about it. Now 
Now something that I didn't realise the first few times I did this, you can come in here. There's a little semi-secret area out here with a guy sitting with his mining helmet and his lunch. He was obviously uh, taking a break uh, when the bombs fell and found a nice secluded location to do so from where he didn't have to actually like, interact with people. And no, he has my sympathy. Um, I do that too. Yes, he is. I'm being as quick as I can about this because uh, there's no use in hanging around while people are shooting at you. I did not shoot that person. Did they fall? They fell. They fell from on high. Yep, I'm waiting before I pick my perk. I'll get there, don't worry. Uh, we do want to go all the way to the top. from up here that fell, I think. Yep. Okay, so this is where we want to go to the top. Up here we will find a bobblehead. This is the oh, repair yeah. bobblehead. This is our second. Uh, the first one we picked up in the Museum of Freedom, which was the perception bobblehead, which increased our perception by one. This is the repair bobblehead, which, unless you're using power armor, is not that great, but there it is. Uh, you want to be collecting those anyway, just for collection's sake. So, two more raiders left. They're not being very effective. Oh, um, you may have noticed, by the way, that... Uh, I mentioned this in the in the clip that I lost, um, but there's something of an echo going on, particularly during dialogue. Uh, the reason for that is that I don't have headphones. I am recording this on my PlayStation um, across the room using the um, terrible little earplug mic that came with it, and. So the reason you're getting an echo is that the mic, uh, or the, the recording is is both picking up the PlayStation sound um, and also the PlayStation sound as it's being picked up by the same microphone that's picking up my voice. And uh, so that's, that's why there's that tiny, tiny delay which sounds like an echo. Um, I will be setting up a Patreon at some point, I'm sure. Um, so if you want me to get better equipment, maybe lend a hand. In the meantime, of course, um, I do have to say it because unfortunately it kind of does matter. If you like and subscribe, that'll help me spread my, my channel. Um, and I'm told that's, that's useful. Um, there are a couple of locations on the outside that I haven't done, but that's okay, they don't have much here. And I don't know where that last raider has gone. But I can hear them, but I don't know where they are. Okay, so, you can tell there are many ways into Corvega. There's a hatch on the roof, there's that door there, there's a different door, there's the front door. We're going to go in the back door for this. Um, you can go up to that little shack there. Uh, that will pop the Brotherhood of uh, Steel quest um, because you'll pick up their radio broadcast from there. So 
um, we're coming up close to our to our 15 minute limit so I'm just going to head down here a little bit there you are just kill this raider scum very quickly I better uh, drop the steam pack I knew I missed one Cushion boiled leather left leg. I can use that. Uh, so I'm going to load that up. I'm going to go round to where the back entrance is and uh, line that up. I'll do my level up and um, we'll see you in just a few minutes.